After spending four days trying new foods and discovering temples in the city of Bangkok, I decided to head south to the island of Koh Phangan, where I would attend the famous full moon party. In order to get there though, I needed to first take a 12 hour night train to the city of Suratani. I honestly have no idea what to expect from the sleeper trains here. Looking at the terminal, it looks like uh, we're probably on for some good trainage. Well, who knows? Could be like terrible. Thinking it was first come, first serve, I picked the biggest bed All I right, could find. We're in. Definitely some of the beds have uh, stains on them. Stupidly, I didn't see that I was actually assigned a specific bed and would later realize that my spot wasn't quite as luxury as I first thought. Hey, I was wrong. I'm up here instead. This is definitely a little more tricky. After getting settled into my rather snug home for the next 12 hours, I realized that I had forgotten to eat. A lady was walking through the aisle selling something, but I couldn't make out what it was. Fortunately for me, an attendant informed me that there was a dining car on carriage five. Number five. Ah, number five. Okay. So I heard dining car is on carriage five. So I'm gonna go check that out. <laughs> Fuck, you don't want to get trapped in the doors here. All right, so dining car should be down here. Oh, here it is, dining car. Okay, then it's the dining It's a little grubby in here, though. It's The next morning, I was awoken to the pleasant sound of my elderly neighbor having a loud conversation with her new friend, and she wasn't showing signs of stopping. So I decided to get up and check out the morning landscapes that were whizzing by. By the looks of it, this guy decided to escape to the dining cart to avoid the noise too. A few hours later, and we made it to Suratan. All right, made it. it. Wasn't bad, actually. It was pretty nice, that sleeper train. I'm trying to find out how to get to Copenhagen here. Found this lady, she's gonna help me. Apparently get a bus somewhere. The bus took us out of Suratani to the ferry port in Donsak. Then we boarded the three hour ferry to Copenhagen. Okay, so arrived here at the harbor. Need to make my way south towards where the beach is for the full moon party. I have no idea how to get there, so I'm gonna try and figure that out here. Wait, there's a lot of people that look like they're ready to go party. Getting an Ibiza vibe here. Hello. I need to go to the, the Eclipse Hostel. How much? How much? How much? 200. Yeah, go now. Hello, go now. Oh, bag on the top. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, I've got the last seat, sir. Hi. Hello. This is crazy. Finally here, got got uh, moved into the hostel. We're taking the first little hike down the main town for the full moon party. Apparently, the thing to do is to get your beer at 7 Eleven to save a little bit of cash. So I had this in Bali. It's kind of a little bit stronger than a beer. It's not quite a wine. Uh, the first one was pretty gross, but let's give this one a taste test. This is an apple. Pretty good, actually. Very strong. There's your buckets, dude. So a thing here apparently is to get a bucket, fill it with vodka and their original Red Bull. I can't handle one Red Bull, let alone a fucking three times strength Red Bull. This is like a uh, Western Tourist Central, huh? Yeah. This is, the, this is really like the Magaloo. So the evening kicked off at the hostel with freed glow-in-the-dark body paint. 
It quickly became apparent that I was way out of my age bracket and I was about 10 years late to the party as everyone around me was in their early 20s. I started to wonder why I even wanted to come to this party. I'm the type of guy that gets hung over after two beers and is often in bed before 11. It's no surprise then that I was the first one back at the hostel. I'm the only one back in a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 person dorm. It's like, uh, it's 1.30. No one's, no one's here. The next day, I decided to get up and head back to the beach to check out the carnage. Good morning. It is the next day after the full moon party. And as you can see, the beach has gone from chock full of people to absolutely no one around. And it's like almost midday. There is trash everywhere. They've already done the rounds on the trucks. But man, the amount of colorful straws and broken glass is kind of insane. Um, I mean, if you can look past that, this beach is absolutely stunning. And I'm gonna go and explore it a little bit more, find a place to get a coffee, and catch up with some work. A few hours later, I rented a scooter and headed north to check out some of the island's waterfalls. We're here. Let's find out if there's any water. Did you guys check out the waterfall? Well, there's no water. There's no water, it's dried up. After finding out the waterfalls were dry and realizing I had aged out of the full moon crowd, I was honestly feeling a bit lost and lonely on this island. This group was staying at my hostel, but it became clear that they had their own thing going and weren't looking to add another to the crew. Then something awesome happened. I bumped into a couple people that were also traveling in a similar situation. Let me just turn here. Matt and Nabil. And now we're gonna go check out a, uh, a Chinese temple. <laughs> Probably the most dangerous thing I could be doing here. <laughs> Along the way, we found a Buddhist temple in the forest that seemed like it had been under construction for a while. So cool. And he painted this whole rock gold. So I have to say, like, it's, it's cool, but I definitely think that there's like an element of like cheapness. It's all very like unfinished, isn't it? Yeah. This looks more like a Chinese temple. <laughs> well, there you go. Honestly, yeah. it was quite underwhelming. <laughs> Damn. Dude, there's even a frog in there. <laughs> We then decided to grab some beers and head to the beach before making our way to the night market nearby. And this is where it's at right here. Let's go guys! <laughs> so we just stumbled across this market just by chance after coming to the beach here. And it looks like they've got more amazing Thai food. So we're gonna check it out. That's perfect! Come on Kav! Keep the money, it's for you, it's for you. <laughs> it's, it's for her, it's for her. Come on, come. All right, it's a dumpling then. Yeah. So what do you think, mate? I think the flavor is exquisite. Yeah. I'm, very bad at, I'm very bad at explaining the yeah. flavor. <laughs> Not like the, yeah, to be honest, it's like, I don't know, a little bit dry. But it's okay, it's okay. I thought it was good. Let's, let's ask for more. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe sure. it's like, authentic fried chicken. You want to take fried chicken? Yeah, I was going to take one of these, but actually this would be better for sharing. Yeah. Fried chicken. <laughs> it's cold. Fuck. Damn. I was going to let down. Oh, wow. Fried chicken. <laughs> chicken feet. Oh, <laughs> you got a spring rolls, you know. The food. Yeah, it looks fire. Mm. Try one of these. Yeah, well, get some. Oh, oh, spring well. roll. Mm. Oh. They're nice, they're yeah. nice. Mmm. Do you have a sausage in it? Uh, I'm not sure actually. She told me yes, but I think I just have cheese. But that's perfect actually. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it's coming like the... It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> oh man. Pokemon to me. Like, actually it looks... It, it looks, seems animated. Yeah. <laughs> it looks good to be honest. Hey mate, help me. Help me out. <laughs> Don't play with uh, oh, that. Don't play with your food, man. 
The question was, do you think vindaloo is spicy? And the answer yeah. is yes. Yeah. If you want non-spicy, go for but butter yeah, chicken. I'm, 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 I'm going to try it. Oh, he's going to try it. Is, is it possible to taste it? This good. is Indian food, definitely. Yeah, good. Well, two <laughs> of them? Confirmed it is Indian yeah. food, yeah. Two of them, good. Once we had all found our food, we ended the evening on the pier with a beer. The perfect end to a day of exploring.